Welcome to my channel. My name is Catherine and I love music. One of my favorite artists is Sting. In this video I'm going to talk about the police albums in my collection. So the police were an English rock band that formed in London in 1977 and for most of their history their members were these three musicians. In the glasses we have Sting, he's the lead singer, the main lyricist, and also the bass player. In the middle we have Andy Summers, he plays guitar, and over here we have Stuart Copeland, he plays drums and percussion. So the genre of music the police were known for is new wave, reggae, post-punk, pop, and rock. The first album I have is their second studio album. It was released October 5th, 1979 on AM Records, and the title is in French, and it loosely means white reggae. So the singles on this album are Message in a Bottle. Walking on the Moon, Bring on the Night, which was only released in the U.S., and The Bed is Too Big Without You. And my favorite song on this album is Message in a Bottle. This song, to me, inspires hope. So in the fifth verse, after the first chorus, it goes, A year has passed since I wrote my note. I should have known this right from the start. Only hope can keep me together. Love can mend your life, or love can break your heart. And this is the inner sleeve on this album. It has this picture of the, the band members, and the back is just... So this is their third studio album. It's called Zenyatta Mandata, and it was released September 19th, 1980. It has the singles, Don't Stand So Close To Me, and Do 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 Do, Do Da Da Da. My favorite song is Don't Stand So Close To Me. And this album is how I got into the police. I had this cassette tape when I was in middle school. And the whole album is really up-tempo and there's a lot of sing-along choruses on the songs of this album. And the memorable, memorable line in Don't Stand So Close To Me, the song I like the best, is he starts to shake and cough just like the old man in that book by Nabinkoff. So Sting likes to read. So often in his lyrics, there are references to literature, and I always like to look for those. This is the inner sleeve to Zenyatta Mandata. It's a collage of pictures, front, and then the other side. The next album is their fourth studio album. This is called Ghost in the Machine, and it was released October 2nd, 1981. And October 2nd is Sting's birthday. So he, this was released on one of Sting's birthday. And the title is a book by Arthur Koestler. I hope I pronounced that right. And this artwork is a digital display. It's called 16 Segment Display Graphic, and it depicts the heads of the three band members. So let's see, left to right, we have Andy Summers right here. Sting is in the middle with the spiky hair, and Stuart Copeland is over here. 
So the singles on this album were Invisible Sun, Every Little Thing She Does Is Magic, Spirits in the Material World, and Secret Journey. And I would say Every Little Thing She Does Is Magic is my favorite, but I also like um, Spirits in the Material World. They're very catchy songs. And this is the graphic on the inner sleeve of Ghost in the Machine. And that's the other side. Their last studio album is called Synchronicity. That's the one side. And that's the other side. And I know there was a lot of different variations of album covers on this album, depending on which country it was released in. So this album was released June 17th, 1983. It has the singles Every Breath You Take, Wrapped Around Your Finger, King of Pain, Synchronicity 2, and Synchronicity 1 was released in Japan only. And a fun fact I found on Sting's website was April 2019 became the most played song on the radio. So that's every breath you take. It holds a record for being the most played song on the radio. My favorite song on this album is King of Pain. I love the imagery in that song. And I love the memorable first line. There's a little black spot on the sun today. It's the same old thing as yesterday. That's my soul up there. And I also have a CD that someone gave me. It's a Greatest Hits. So as you notice, I don't have their first album. It's called, let's see, I wrote it down. I can't remember right now. Olandis D'Amour, which was released in 1977. It had the singles Roxanne, Can't Stand Losing You, and the song So Lonely. So this compilation al album contains Roxanne and the song Can't Stand Losing You. So when I buy records, I buy things that I like and I enjoy listening to, and I always ask myself, am I gonna enjoy listening to this or am I gonna listen to it once and it's gonna sit on the shelf? And I've streamed it and listened to it and I just, I think it's just not my favorite police album, so I haven't bought it. And I have this comp. And then last year, the police released, oh, released another comp, and it's got more songs on it than that CD. This is their most complete compilation album. And here's the front cover. Here's the back. Kind of looks like Zenyatta Mandata. And then you open it up, it's a gatefold. And it has this lovely picture. Oops, there goes the record. <laughs> Don't let that fall out. And I'll show you the inner sleeves. These are really cool too. So here's one side. And there's this one. They're standing next to the Berlin Wall, which is no longer there. And then the other one looks like this. It has these pictures. And the back of that one. And it also came with this certification that it was recorded at Abbey Road Studio and it is good quality sounding record and it really is. So actually this comp has all three singles from the album Olenda Stiamor so it has the song um, So Lonely, Roxanne, and Can't Stand Losing You. So because of that I just don't think I really need the first record. So that's my police albums in my collection.
And in a future video, I want to cover the solo artwork of Sting. I have plenty of those because, like I said in the beginning of the video, he's my favorite artist. So, and I actually really like the his solo career. So, stay tuned for that. And I thank you for watching. Have a good day.